I think chicken rice is the ultimate comfort food. And it kind of brings you back to school. The food in primary school, 40 cents, 50 cents, gets you a plate of rice that's really not even fully cooked through. In secondary school, the food got better. The rice is now flavoured. I would love to inspire a new generation of curious eaters. Taking on this project with Fair Price, I'm gonna be really curious as to what sort of challenge this young eater is gonna throw at me. Hello, my name is Wai Leong. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ayana and this is my mom. Hi. Very nice to meet you. I've been tasked to make you a dish. So I need a rough idea as to what you like to eat and what you don't like to eat. I love fried chicken and pizza Burgers. Are there any vegetables at all that you'll be okay with? She does like a few green fresh vegetables. She likes to have salads sometimes. How's the food at your school? I always buy rice with spicy chicken. Do you like sort of like flavoured sort of spice or do you like sort of the chilli hot sort of spice? I only eat food that have really little spice. I can't take a lot of spice. I have a rough idea of what I want to cook for you and I hope that you have the curiosity to try it out. I'm really excited to try it. Then, the next time I see you, we'll be in the kitchen. Bye! Bye! The dish that I've decided to cook for Ayana is a Xi'an spice chicken with fragrant rice. And we're here at Fair Price Finest to pick up the ingredients. So Ayana was telling me that she's okay with greens, so let's add a little bit more vegetables to this chicken and rice dish. Not only is it full of nutrition, it's also locally produced, which is always a plus. These pasta chickens, they are processed in Singapore daily, so you can tell that they're really fresh and they're gonna taste really awesome. This medium grain rice is gonna give really good texture to the dish that I have in mind. Well, with that, we have all the ingredients that we need, so let's head back to the kitchen and start cooking. We've got all our stuff ready to start cooking. For this recipe, we are going to use the thighs and the drumsticks. We have all the skin and fat here, and we're going to just do a quick chop up and then put it into a pan. We're going to render that fat down. While that's happening, we are going to marinate our chicken thighs and drumsticks. So this Xi'an spice is going to really give lots of flavour. Cumin, coriander seed, citron peppercorn, fennel, all that is toasted in a pan. And then we blitz it in a spice blender and then we sift it. First, we are going to throw in the aromatics. Finely chopped onions, ginger and garlic, which we're going to crush very lightly. The secret weapon, butter. You're going to get almost this hazelnutty browning of the butter, almost like caramel, but savoury. So we're almost there. We're going to throw in a knot of pandan. At that point, we will start cooking the rice. Mix it together. That's a mixture of chicken fat and brown butter with all the other aromatics. I did say that I wanted to throw in some greens into this dish. The green sauce. So we have these local water spinach that we're going to quickly blanch off and blend together. So it's almost like a pesto. So now we're going to quickly blend this. Now you want to be careful for this part. I have a pot of oil. Just be careful when you pour this hot oil, you don't want to burn yourself. It's a good idea to give this mixture a bit of a stir so that all the flavours can get to know each other. Oh yeah. We're going to make the chilli sauce. This is a nice optional in case you want to increase the heat of your meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that punches you in the nose. It is so spicy, but that's exactly how I like it. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> it's going to be quite spicy. <laughs> we can now start on the chicken. As we cook this chicken thigh, we are going to cook it on the skin side down for most of the way. Why? Because we want the skin as crispy as possible. And now the idea is to let the butter melt and start foaming. You'll be spooning over the hot fat and that will flavour the meat. There you have it. We have our Siyan Spice Chicken with fragrant rice. I can't wait for Ayana to come by and try what I've made for her. I hope she really likes it because I really put a lot of work into this. <laughs> Ayana, so this is something that I've made for you. Just some fragrant rice with a beautiful, crispy, shallow fried chicken that's been spiced with Xi'an style spices. It looks really, really good. Go for it, please. Do you like it? It's really delicious. Can you please teach my mom <laughs> how to make this? I'll make sure to pass my recipe. <laughs> the chicken is really, really good. It's really crispy and juicy. The sauce is really, really good. I can't believe there's actually vegetables in it. I like that there's a little bit of sourness in it. I'm hoping it's easy to make, especially for moms who are working. It's easy. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. I realised that you didn't try any chilli and I know that you're not really the biggest fan of spicy. Do you want to do like a little bit of chilli with me? There you go. Mmm. So Spicy? A little bit. A little bit. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me cook for you. I'm so happy that you enjoyed my food. For full recipe details, please click the link in the video. Until the next time I see you, please do stay safe, stay well, keep cooking.